Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's lovely to see you. Thank you for joining me today. So today we are going to do a follow-up to my standing Pilates for seniors workout, which I was blown away by, but because I, I think today I just checked the numbers and it's something like half a million people have now done that workout. So you are amongst half a million, isn't that amazing? Um, so because of that and the success of that and the need for it, I've decided to do a follow-up. So that's what this is going to be today. So if you haven't done the standing Pilates for seniors yet, and that suits you and that's the age group that you're in, I want to encourage you to go and do that first and get familiar with that and get used to doing that before you do this one because this one today is going to be a slight progression from there to challenge you a little bit more so um, yeah so I think it would be good for you to do that first and then come on to this one all right but if you are not a senior and you want to give it a go or you're a senior and you're fit as a fiddle and you've got no worries at all then you can just go ahead and try this with me today. All right, so you're not gonna need anything at all. You just need the usual, just a little bit of space around you. It's all gonna be standing work. And yeah, I think that's all we've got to say. I think we should get started, don't you? So go ahead and get ready, and I'll see you in a moment. All right, so let us begin. You're gonna start with your feet hip width apart. And we are just gonna draw the tummy muscles in. We're gonna tuck the tailbone under and we're gonna take our weight over into our left leg so we can bring our right leg forward. You're gonna put the hands on the hips and we're gonna lift that foot off the floor. So starting with a little balance, we're gonna circle the ankle out. Two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, other way, and in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Take that foot down, bring the other foot forward. Okay, so from here we're gonna lift up and we're gonna go out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, other way, and in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So bring that foot down. All right, so from here, I think what we're gonna do next is some knee bends. And we did those in the first video, all right? So you should be familiar with this one. Today I'm gonna to do it sideways, because I've had a lot of people say, can I go sideways for some so you can see the movement? So I'm gonna turn sideways. If you see a little lump on my back, that's my radio mic, so I'm just gonna whisk it around here slightly. All right, so the idea is you've got your tummy muscles in, your tailbone under and you're hinging from the hip so as you bend the knees you're sending the bottom out but you're keeping that length through that lower back all right and coming up we're going to add the arms to it so you're going to inhale to bend and exhale up inhale to bend and up bend and up bend and up for four three two and one coming up I'm just going to turn back so you can see what we're going to do next from here we're going to inhale lifting up onto the toes arms straight up and exhale to come down so inhale lift and exhale lower inhale lift and lower lift and lower. little swing of the arms lift and lower lift and lower lift and and lower, two more, lift, and lower, and lift, and lower. Second set of knee bends, bend, and up, bend, and up, bend, and up, bend, and up, and four, three, two, one, up on the toes, lifting up and down lift and lower lift and lower lift and lower up and lower up and lower two and 
and one coming down. So you can already feel how your heart rates come up, which is what we want. Now you're going to take your feet a bit wider. All right, and we're going to do something that you might not have done with me before. So what you're going to do is have your feet facing forward and you're going to bend the knee so you're going to mirror me so you're bending this knee and you're making sure the knee is staying over the toe so you're now going to feel a stretch through here so you're going to bend and straighten bend and straighten bend and straighten bend a little swing of the arms can you see I'm swinging my arms so nothing in particular just letting them be very relaxed and straighten bend and straighten. Let's go on to the other side. So check the knee goes over the toe. Yes, yeah? so over the toes. And back. Bend and back. Bend and back. Bend. Two. One and up. Now we're going to go a little wider, so this depends on your confidence level. It's going to be a little harder, so take your feet a bit wider. You're going to get more of a stretch in here, okay? So keep the feet turned in. All right, and we're going to bend, and this time we're going to add a little turn. So can you see it's a little turn of the upper body and back. So it's nothing too crazy, it's just a little turn and back. And you add that with that lunge. So you're going to feel the stretch more on this side and turn. That's it. Little bend and back. Bend and back. Bend and back and bend and back. Now we're going to go on to the other side. So same thing. We're going to add a little turn and back. Turn and back. Good. Turn and back. So nice bend of the knee and back. Just checking that knee is going over the toes. Bend. Bend. Good. Two. One. Well done. And coming up. From here, I'm going to go sideways so you can see what I'm doing. All right. So we are going to take the right leg back, left leg forward. All right. And you're going to lean forward. So can you see my back is nice and straight, leaning forward, drawing the tummy in, but I'm not rounding that upper back. I'm drawing back and I'm just trying to feel a stretch in the calf muscle. So you might want to have a look at that back foot and just strain it up a little. All right. And then we're just going to lean into it and we're just going to hold it there, feeling a nice stretch in the calf muscle. Pulling in with the tummy muscles, relaxing the shoulders. You're just going to breathe nice and easy. Now comes your little challenge. You're going to lift that heel up, release the arms, and we are going to do a little bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Four, three, two, one, and up. You can feel how that challenges your balance. Let's change sides now. All right, so the other way around, and we're going into our calf stretch. So we want our toes facing forward on both feet, tongue is in, and then a little lean forward, hands resting on the thighs there. That's it. And then you're just breathing nice and easy, feeling that stretch in the calf muscle. Then we're going to lift the heel up at that back foot, release the hands, dip down and up, dip down and up. So just work within the capability of the knee, down and up for four and three, two, one and up and then I'm going to turn back around towards you. Okay, so that was the first part that was sort of the ankles and the legs. We're going to move up to the hips now. So we're going to do what we call the hip hitch. This is about working the muscles on the side of the waist and the hip and you're going to have this sense of hitching your hip 
up, okay? So what you're gonna do is have your hands here, you're gonna take the weight into that left leg and we're gonna hitch up. So we're reducing the space between hip and ribs and then reach it back down. So we're gonna lift it up and take it down. Lift it up and take it down. Lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, two more, lift and lower and lift and lower. Going on to the other hip, here we go, hitch it up and put it down, hitch it up and down, up and down, up and down and down, lift and lower, lift and lower, and lift and lower. Very good, all right. So what I want you to do now is put your hands behind you like this. Can you see, so hands are flat and on the bottom of the pelvis. And then I'm gonna turn that towards you. And what I want you to do is just draw the elbows back so you're feeling a stretch in the chest and then release and draw them back and release. Draw them back and release. Back and release. Back and release and back and release. Let me turn sideways for you So, because I want to show you what we're going to do now. You're going to interlace the fingers and you're just going to take those hands out and try and raise the arms a little until you can feel the stretch here but you don't want to let those ribs pop forward. All right so you're thinking more about lifting the arms up feeling a stretch. I then want you to bend your knees Pull the tummy in and hinge forwards. It's like you're sticking the bottom out. Hinging forward as far as you can go. Now let your head go. Come all the way down. And if you're able, you're gonna bring those arms slightly overhead. And you're gonna release the hands, bring them down. Take a breath in, you're gonna breathe out. And you're gonna unroll the spine all the way up to standing. Let's try that again. So hands behind you, interlace the fingers and draw those hands out and up slightly. So you're feeling that stretch in the body and you're going to bend your knees and you're going to hinge forward. So keep those tummy muscles in to protect the back. You keep going, keep the back as straight as you can until you fold over. And this point your back is rounded, your arms are going as far as they're able overhead, neck and it's relaxed, head is hanging down. Release the hands, take a deep breath in and exhale, coming all the way up through the spine. Let's try that one more time. So interlace the fingers and drawing back. So reaching out, feeling that stretch first of all. Now pull the belly button in. So we're really using our core muscles. We're gonna bend those knees. Keep the belly button pulling it as you hinge forward. Bottoms out. And then you just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going all the way down. And then release the hands and take a deep breath in and exhale, coming all the way up through the spine. Well done. All right, you're going to turn back to me and you're going to have your feet hip width apart there and we're going to do a little side stretch. This is a really nice one. It's quite balletic because uh, I used to dance a long, long time ago. So I try and keep some of those stretches within my capability now in my older body. All right, so what we're going to do is have your hands by your side. You're going to lift up. So think about this thread in the top of your head pulling you up as straight as you can be. And then what you're going to do is you're going to just start to go over to the right and you're going to bring your left hand upwards. Can you see my left hand sliding up, elbow towards the ceiling as far as you can go. You're going to feel a lovely deep stretch through the rib cage. Then you're going to unfold that arm straight up and you're going to look up towards the hand 
look down towards the other one and then bring the arm down and come back up. Let's try it the other way. What we'll do this time is have the knees a little bit soft. I think that'll be more comfortable. All right, so we're going to go over. Elbow's going to come up. All right, come up as far as you can with that elbow. Unfold the arm. Turn to look up. And then turn to look down. Bring the arm down. And then come back up. Up. All right, let's try that again. So slight softening of the knees. Tummies in and then we're going to slide over. Bring that elbow up. So it's like the hand is traveling up through the ribs, unfolding that arm. Turn to look up and turn to look down. Take the arm down and slide that body back up. One more. We're going to soften the knees. We're going to go over. Coming up with that hand, elbow towards the ceiling, unfold and then turn to look up and turn to look down. Bring the arm down and come all the way back up. Good. So I'm hoping that felt all right for you. So what we're going to do now is interlace the fingers. In fact, no, we're not. We're going to bring our hands into like a prayer like this and you're going to put the fingers underneath your chin and the thumbs against your chest. Can you see what I'm doing? All right. And the idea is we're going to keep that connection through the movement. So we want our feet hip width apart, tummies in, tailbones under, and then we're going to take a breath in and we're going to breathe out as we rotate to the side and then we're going to breathe in to come back to center. So we're not forcing anything, we're just trying to get a little mobility through the body and back to center. This is really working the upper spine more than anything. So rotating and back to the center and rotating and back to the center. Good. Rotate and back to the center, rotate, and back to the center, and the idea is your hips are staying as still as possible, turn, and back to center, and turn, and back to center, good, you're going to bring your hands down by your side, and then from here we're going to do a roll down, so that's a deep breath in, breathe out, chin to the chest, bending the knees and slowly rolling down, letting your arms hang, your head hang, thinking all the work is in the legs right now, so everything is relaxed in the upper body, then you're going to take a deep breath in, you're going to breathe out, draw the tummy muscles in, and slowly come up through the spine, all the way up to standing. Let's do that again, inhale and exhale, chin to the chest, bending the knees and coming down, letting those arms hang, very good, inhale and exhale, coming back up, last one, deep breath in, breathing out, chin to the chest, bending the knees and coming down, you're going to inhale there and exhale all the way back up. Good. Let's bring the shoulders up, back and around, up, back and around, up, back and around, up, back and around. Good. And four, three, two, one, well done, then you're going to inhale, bring the arms up, exhale, reaching out, nice stretch, inhale up, exhale out, inhale up, and exhale out, you can stretch those fingers as well, inhale up, and exhale out, two more, up, and exhale out, and inhale up, 
and exhale out. Let's do the shoulders the other way. So squeeze them together at the back, bring them up and over. So back, up and over. 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 Last one, back up and over. You're going to inhale, arms out to the side and exhale, coming forward. Inhale and exhale forward. Good, so nice and relaxed, deep breath in and exhale forward. Inhale out and exhale forward. Good, inhale out and exhale forward. And last one, inhale out and exhale forward. Now let those arms relax there, give those shoulders a little shake out and let's do a little bit of work with the neck. So you're going to inhale, gently take the head over to the right and exhale, bring it up and try and keep that body still so we're just stretching the neck and up. So it's an inhale as you go over and an exhale up. And inhale over and exhale up. Two more. Inhale over and exhale up. And inhale over and exhale up. Now you're going to turn to look to your right and come back to the center. And other way over and back to the center. Good over and back, over and back, over and back. Last one, over and back. You're going to bring your hands forward towards me and we're going to circle them out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight other way and in, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So you're going to bring your hands down by your side and we're going to do a little exercise for the shoulder. So if you've got any issues with your shoulders, I have got another video you can look at. I also have a vlog as well to explain about all of that. But this is shoulder rotation, all right? So any issues with the shoulders, just take it easy for this one. So I want you to mirror me. So raise your arm up. So your exact mirror copy of me and then bring your elbow back. So your elbow is in line with the shoulder. We've got a nice right angle here. And then you're going to exhale. You're going to try and rotate that arm back. Bring it forward and reach it back forward and lower down. And what we want to do is not have the shoulder like this. This is quite common as we get older. So you want to think of trying to draw the shoulder back to start with, then raising the arm up. Then you're going to bring the elbow out like so, rotate back, rotate forward, reach forward and lower down. So think shoulder back, raise the arm, bend the elbow, then you're going to rotate back, rotate forward, reach and lower down. One more, we're going to lift and draw back rotate and back, reach forward and down. So let's try the other arm. So think shoulder first, draw the shoulder back, raise the arm up, then elbow back, rotating as far as you can, back, reach forward and down, shoulder back, lift and then rotate and forward and reach and down. So we're going to lift, draw back, rotate and forward and reach and down. One last time, lift and back and rotate and forward and lift 
and down very good all right so I'm going to go sideways for you all right and we're going to do a roll down with a back extension now all right so the idea is you're going to draw the tummy muscles in you're going to take a breath in and we're going to breathe out chin to the chest bend the knees tummy muscles pulling in we're going to flex forward all right all the way down and then I want you to bring your hands up to on top of your knees and use your hands, push down into your hands to try and extend your back, which means your head is lifting and you're trying to feel length from the tailbone to the top of the head. All right, and then you're going to come back down, rounding the spine, let the arms relax and unravel the spine all the way back up. Let's try that again. So deep breath in and then you're going to exhale rolling down so the knees bend they're coming down as far down as we can and then we're going to bring the hands up onto the top of the knees and we're going to reach forward extending so thinking of that length through the spine so think chest forward a nice lengthening through the back that's it and then you're going to come down release the arms deep breath in and exhale Coming back up, let's try that again, inhale and exhale, chin to the chest, bending the knees, tongue is in and coming all the way down, good and then we're going to bring the hands up onto those knees, press into the knees and extend forward, that's it, good, nice long line, coming down, release the hands and coming all the way back up. Good, so if you remember what we did earlier, we're gonna go back to it now. We're going to bring our right foot forward, our left leg back, so we've got a nice space between right foot and left foot. And we're gonna draw the tummy in, we're gonna lean forward into that foot, so we're feeling a stretch in our left calf muscle. All right, you're just going to hold it there. I want you to draw the shoulders back. In fact, let's take the hands behind us today and just hold on to a wrist and try and reach back. So you're getting a nice stretch as you lean forward. You're raising that arm, so you're feeling a lovely stretch through the back. And then we're going to rock back and forth. So you're going to straighten the right leg and then you're going to bend. You're going to straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. Straighten and then for four, three, two, one, and then coming up, we are going to lift the left heel up now, release the hands, bring the arms down by your side, all right, and we're going to do a little bend and straighten, bend and straighten, bend and straighten so really upright with the spine but arms are nice and relaxed and straighten bend and straighten bend and straighten bend and straighten now we're going to swap legs all right so let's try that on the other side all right so the first thing is the calf stretch all right so you've got those toes facing forward bending the knee so leaning forward and then we're going to take our hands behind us and have a little stretch there. And we're going to try and straighten that front leg and then straighten and then straighten and then straighten and then for four, three two, one, coming forward, lifting the other heel, let your arms come by down by your side so you're nice and relaxed and then we do a little dip down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up, for four, three, two, one, and coming back. So you're going to come back with your feet hip width apart. I'm going to stay facing this way so you can see me. Roll down with the back extension. So take a breath in. 
and breathing out into the chest, bending the knees, rolling down all the way down. Now reach your arms forward, extending your spine. You've got a nice straight back, pull your belly button in and come straight up. You're going to feel this in the bottom muscles and arms out to the side. Let's try that again. Deep breath in and exhale, chin to the chest, rolling down, just letting the arms hang, the head hang as you come down to the ground and then we're going to reach those arms forward, draw the tummy muscles in. That's it, bend the knees, push into those legs, coming up and arms out to the side. Last one, deep breath in and exhale, chin to the chest, rolling down, all the way down towards the floor. Good, reach those arms forward, tummy muscles in and see if you can do a little bounce here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull the tummy muscles in, lifting up and coming down. And to finish, I want you to interlace the fingers, bend the knees, draw the hands forward and tuck the tailbone under. And you'll feel a lovely stretch in your lower back. That's it. And as you straighten the legs, you're going to straighten the arms coming up and then all the way out like so. All right, let's try that again. So interlace the fingers, bend the knees, take the arms forward and tuck the tailbone under. So you're really sucking in on that abdominal muscle there. All right, and then as you straighten the legs, you straighten the arms. Nice stretch and down and one last time let's interlace those fingers bend the knees and draw those hands forward that's it really tucking under with that tailbone lifting all the way up arms out to the side and you're all done for today so well done everyone Good work, I hope you enjoyed that. So that was the follow-up to my standing senior Pilates. So I've added some new things in there to target different areas of the body, but also to build on the strength you built up from that first one. So if you've been doing the first one, and you're trying this today, my recommendation is now to alternate them. So, cause you'll get different things from both, but you're also building up the core muscles in particular here, but a lot of work in the legs and the hips, which is really important for our, our balance as we get older. So can I just ask you, please, you'll see there's a thumbs up button. If you can press the thumbs up button, that would really help me. And some of you will know, but I do make all of these videos at my own cost so I don't get paid by anyone to make them for you I do them at my own cost but I do get money back from YouTube if you watch it and particularly if you give it a thumbs up <coughs> or you share it with somebody else that would really really help so that's all I ask that would be great if you could do that for me and thank you so much for joining me today I hope to see you again real soon so take care of yourselves and bye for now all the best bye bye